Welcome to my recap. We're doing a recap now. It ended up being an $800 day. Uh, Tide, INNN, and Yusea were my trades for today. Uh, and um, pretty much Yusea was uh, a pretty good mover here. Yusea this morning, it was a follow-up trade. Uh, to the yesterday's high was 490. I, I saw this 490 break over here and it was consolidating. I thought I would be chasing it if I bought it at 570, which was a dollar off yesterday's high. And I was buying it as it broke yesterday high. Uh, it, it was great buying it as it broke the day's high here. Despite the fact that you know I could have been you could I could have been I could have lost here So I was buying it here watched it go sideways for a couple and then I sold it for like 30 cents this morning That was kind of like my first trade 579 and six dollar exit then I watched it go up to six to to 720 which I could have been up I don't know maybe two dollars a share on two thousand shares. I could have been up way more but I just was not feeling it. I don't know why. I woke up late. My co my caffeine intake wasn't that great, and I left it at that. Then I and then I uh, then I bought Tide and I was then I was bought Tide and I was sitting with an empty bag from over here, which was on higher position than I was comfortable with. It ended up being eight thousand shares, and that would have been that that is just not not too high too high of a position for me and uh i watched it go you know i, I thought it's gonna break yesterday's high it's gonna run towards two that's how they normally do and it ended up being a top it ended up being a top it's just way too choppy for me and uh i sold it into the pop at open and minimized my loss i was wrong to buy it over here definitely wrong because i was down 20 cents a share which was which was down fourteen hundred, and that would have put me. That then wow. that put me down. Uh, that would have put me down fifteen hundred on the day. That's my maximum loss per one day, fifteen hundred, and that and that's flopping right now. It's a good thing I freaking sold it because it was just one big piece of crap. And my next trade was I I N N. My I N hit very well. Uh, my my plan is. To buy it, uh, it released news. It popped up over yesterday's high, an eight million volume, uh, eight million float. It popped up, and it was having trouble with yesterday's high, two sixty five. I was buying it in this pop here, and um, and then uh, hell hell VWAP, and I sold it for thirty cents. Uh, and pretty much it looked like it rejected and kind of went back freaking down. Uh, those are my trades. Just uh, I'm not. Seeing it, uh, you know, those are my trades. Just, just my my tied execution was just very, uh, very crappy. I would have to say, and my you say I didn't hold long enough. My in was a ten out of ten trades, thirty cents a share, perfect in, perfect out. My you say I entry was perfect. My exit was way too soon, and then my tied size was too high, and then I was wrong, and then I was chasing. So. I minimized the loss in Tide, and I made a buck on Yusea, and I traded perfectly in. Uh, that's kind of it. That is kind of it. I'm, I'm not really sure. Yusea, if I had to do anything different, probably not buy Tide. Probably not buy Tide, because my entry and my exit, my idea to buy Yusea was right in the pre-market. And then my, you know, my idea to buy in was right because it did go up 30 cents from my 250 buy and then my tide was absolutely wrong my, my tide log was absolutely wrong and i minimized the loss because i do post the screenshot of my trades i do have responsibility to post these screenshots of my trades i am responsible for what i do every single day and i don't want to finish the day up red because if i finish the day up red Nobody subscribes. Nobody cares what I have to say. So the goal is to finish uh, green, and, and I don't have any money. So the goal is not red. So, so that is the goal here. Those are my trades. It was a pleasure to hang out with you. 
Hopefully my caffeine intake will be better and I will not make stupid trades like this one, which I'm perfectly guilty of doing. And right now, if I were gonna look at the top gainers, looks like if I were to say ARB is just selling here, which I should have went long because it had a, probably I regret not buying AREB because it had, you know, it had like a 80 million contract, 80, like the news is, uh, the, the news was solid. Uh, companies to deal with value about 9.9 .9 million. So, so the news was that they have money. So, you know, you can see that it had a humongous move in the morning from a buck to 175. So, you know, I should have maybe took some long because I, I was watching this whole thing in AREB and could have, you know, easily put 2,000 shares there and been up, you know, a hefty amount because it went to 175. But I looked at the chart, it was just not that great. And I just, you know, I just didn't feel it. All right, and I do have a midday scanner. I do look at this right now. Grove, no, this, I don't know what, what Grove is actually hitting my scanner to tell you the truth. And um, I don't know if I'm going to make another trade right now. I think Grove is halted. Uh, definitely, um, I, I try, I don't, I'm not a great trader after the market open. Um, most of the, most of my trades are done in the pre-market and maybe some at open, but my, uh, you know, we don't, we don't have that many movers so I can do a gap and go to set up. You can see that most of today's movers, you know, you got AREB up 73%, which that could, I don't know what it's going to do. Keep that on watch. We got Tide that I sold good. And then we're moving into the, you know, trying to, trying to, I, I actually saw FFIE that broke yesterday's high at five and hit like, that, that's impressive. Look at that FFIE, that's nice. Anyway, now those are my trades for today. Make sure you tune in tomorrow and I will certainly put, you know, my, my trades, my trades are going to be uploaded, you know, my screen, you know, each day I try to, you know, record my, my monitor. And when I record my monitor and my trades and my two hours of work, uh, as I talk and I screen record this, I put all this video and the member content. You know, you don't have to go through five hours of, of uh, you know, live streams. You can just go into member content and just watch, you know, the videos that, you know, yesterday I was buying in. And you can watch it in 34 minutes, what my thoughts were. And it's pretty pretty much educational content here. And these are, you know, all my trades that I try to do each day and live stream Rob. and, uh, you know, pretty much post my PL at the end of the day, which was $881 with my trades in it. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, I I'll tune in tomorrow. I'll, my Grove here, Grove here, just gapping up here. And uh, my my i i i'm not a big um I, i'm not really excited to trade anything as of after 9 30 10 o'clock as of right now i'm not i'm looking at grove i'm seeing it but it's just not giving me any uh any funny feelings i i i like it i'm looking at it but it's just not predictable and if it's not predictable, I can't make a solid profit. And if I can't make a solid profit, I'm just not going to take part of it. So it's more like, Rob. you know, when you're, when you're trading after, yeah, I see it, but I'm not going to, I don't know what to do with it. So I, so I rather have something predictable than rather have a loss or some maybe potential home run trade. So my goal is to have predictable gains. But I'm watching it. I will be careful. And uh, tune in tomorrow. Peace out.